how's everybody today? Let me get my timer ready where you guys are signing on. Wait till you guys arrive. Um, we'll go live shortly. I've moved downstairs today uh, just to see if it works a little bit better. So tell me what you think. I put the flowers back on because um, I like the flowers. Uh, so hopefully the family stays out of this room. I've hidden all the mess on that side of the room. So don't, uh, so you can't see it. anything. My house really, really clean. I actually need it to stay clean. I might go a little bit crazy. So I'll just give everybody a couple of minutes to join while I grab my water. So just bear with me. I hope you warmed up. somebody's here don't know who you are but hello so today is cardio blast I'm actually feeling really tired today uh, I um, I went for a run this morning with the dogs it was a nice slow run then I did Joe Wicks and I've just been for a walk but I'm just feeling a bit flat so we'll see how I get through it no idea how it's gonna feel but we're gonna start off so we're doing 11 three times through if we've got the energy, possibly just twice. Let's see how we're feeling. Get some thumbs up if you guys want to do it a third time. Um, so I've got my timer, I've got my water. I hopefully I've got the angles right, although I'm not going to really tell me whether they're right or wrong. So we're doing oh, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, just like regular boot count. And we're starting off with high knees. Now remember, engage those abs and pull those knees up. I um, drank a lot of, well not a lot of wine actually, I didn't drink that much this weekend, but just one of those weekends, a loaf of crack bread for dinner one night with some wine, lots of cheese, so I'm just feeling a bit sluggish, so I'm keen to have a really good week this week, eat well, exercise well, take lots of rest as well, give myself a mental break. So let's go, I called it cardio blast, I just shoved my bum in your face, sorry. Uh, like I said, starting off with high knees, so make sure you're warmed up. If not, please come back to this video or join us a little bit later on. I'm just going to stretch out my back. So open and close. Open and close. It's already hot in here. These windows are lovely, but very impractical because it's absolutely roasting. Okay, let's put some music on at home if you can. I can't play any, but let's go. High knees. So nice and light, I hope this isn't shaking my screen too much. I might move that back a little. I'm going to do it on this, it's a little bit quieter. You guys keep going. Give me a thumbs up if you're here so I know you're here. I'm ready to start. Or maybe I'm doing it on my own. For me. She should be so tired. She's been out twice with different people, don't worry. Well, that's not true actually, but uh, so she should be knackered, but there she is, wondering what I'm doing. Burpees next, okay, so say, give me a thumbs up if you're watching. Jane, I'm expecting you here. Rachel, you should be here. I don't know who else today were coming today. I can't remember. Kersey, you should be here. Come on, boot camp, regular Monday nights. I know it's not night to do it tonight if you're not doing it now. Okay, let's get into burpees. So, two choices for your burpees. If you're just getting back into it, reaching down to the ground, step out, nice and straight, step back in, and rise up. Or full burpee, down you come, legs shoot out, don't drop those hips, and then back in and jump. Your choice. Off we go. I can really use some music right now. Oh, 
relaxing it in my head. So has anybody tried working out with a mirror? Or feeling themselves, you can even do it in front of the window. You can watch where you're going wrong. Keep going. Five, four, three, two. I guess I'm gonna do that last one, haven't I? Okay. Jumping jacks, nice and easy. Oh, look, the dog has up if you can see her. She's lying in her bed. Good dog. Okay. So, just regular, you guys call them star jumps. So, for me, this is the star jump, and this is jumping jack. So, we're doing jumping jacks. If you want to knock it up a level, go ahead. Star jumps, all yours. Let's go. Oh, let me put the timer on. Sorry, I always do that, let's go. Nice tall hands, okay, reach up, nice and tall. Tell me if it's shaking too much, because we poorly built floors in this house. Because our building was rubbish, as a few of you watching will know. So remember, try not to lean back too much, so we're not doing this. Nice and straight, use those abs. 10 seconds left. After this, I'm gonna have a nap in that sunshine seat and rest. Read my book, drink some herbal tea, I think, maybe. Uh, okay, bear crawl, so we love these ones. You just can take up a small amount of space, so you can just go forward and backwards. Um, if you don't have a huge amount of space, don't worry. So come to your four point kneeling, stay nice and low, and walk forward and backwards. And I think Joan said she might come today. Who are you? Hi, Emma. Hi, Judy. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's go. Keep that bum down. The dog's barking, wondering why I'm down on her level. It's really hot in here, keep going. If you can go further, it's a little more challenging. Bye. <laughs> um, keep that bum down. And try not to let those knees come together so that they're operating in a straight line, back and front, if that makes sense. So they're not coming in. And rest. Squat, jump with a turn. So I think we did these the other day. 180 squat jumps. Ours gets our abs, our legs, and our cardio. Just joined us. Hi Rachel, nice to see you. Okay. So squat, jump, turn. So we're gonna squat down, remember, sticking that booty out, and we're gonna 180, so that's using these muscles here to give us a nice twist around. Okay, off we go. I try to jump a different way each time. Really try to make that full 180, I missed it then. Pull way up. If I open the door to let the cool air in, I'll also let the dog in. 10 seconds, come on. Uh, rest, shush. Okay, well done, plank taps. So, if you've got wrist problems, I know some of you find it harder to be on your wrists. Come to your arm for a forearm plank and tap out with the legs out to the side. That's actually a bit harder, uh, but it does give your wrist a break. Otherwise, you're up here with me and you can jump or tap. Okay, off we go. Let's go. So how are you all coping? How's everybody feeling? Week three, 
of lockdown-ish, whatever we're calling it. How are the kids? Are you still doing schoolwork? Oh, I'm tired. Are you feeling like a domestic goddess or god? Or are you hating it? 10 seconds, let's go, concentrate. Nice and fast, abs in. And rest. I still have my moment, so today I made a lasagna. I don't eat meat, but I made a lasagna for the kids. And stew. I've got my sourdough brewing away. So sometimes I feel like I nail it, other times I look around and the floors are so dirty and I'm like, oh. But I'm safe and well. So that's what matters, and so are my children, my family. So we're doing a single leg runner. The front leg, my left knee first, and then we're just gonna run on the spot. Okay, really use those abs and drive that knee up. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, you could do this. Okay, use those arms to drive it. Let's go. Or here, up to you. Mix it up if you want to. Oh, I did lots of planting yesterday. I did no exercise at all this weekend, uh, which is probably bad. I should have done a yoga or something, but I did my dog walk, of course. Oh, keep going. 10 seconds. Um, I did lots of planting. So, as part of our essential shop, whilst I was at Asda, we need products like gluten free bread and stuff, first of all. Um, anyway, I've got some soil. We'll do the other leg. So, I planted radishes with the help of Henry, some salad leaves, courgettes or zucchinis, and beans and peas. So considering off we go on the leg, we lost our vegetable garden when we extended. I've managed to um, earth some pots, which I've used. So if there is a total lockdown, I'll share my glut of courgettes with you in 12 weeks time. Okay, let's go. Twelve seconds, drive. Get off the ground if you're jumping. Well done. The only thing I haven't managed to save is my lawn. The children were out on it in the winter with the dog. And it's so wet back there, it's just killed half of it. But I can't bring it back to life now because they're still out on it. So it's my, my shame. Uh, what are we doing? Donkey jumps, what do I mean by that, I wonder. Mm, I do remember, okay. So coming down to the ground, this is quite fun, now that I remember it. So it's to activate our arms and our core, and we're gonna sort of take a downward dog-ish position with our knees bent, we're just gonna go kick, and the other foot kick. So practicing like a handstand-ish, almost. Am I too far away? Are you guys all good? You're all listening, good. Okay, let's go. This one's fun. Play around. So using our abs. It looks stupid, I know. Land nice and soft, not like I just did. So catch yourself on the way down. Push up with those arms. Three more exercises after this. And then we'll have a rest. Ten, nine, seven, five, four, three, two. Uh, fun? Yes? No? Do we like those? Do we want to do them again? Let me know. Uh, so lunge jumps or static lunges. So a couple options here. If you do this one later on, you can do it with weights. Grab a kid, whatever. So a couple options are here. Lunge, making sure that the front and the back knee sort of bend at an even pace, so we don't want the back here. So we don't want to press and put strain on that knee, so bring it in nice and close. 
and keep that back tall. So alternating. I've got to open the door. The dog might come in. Let dog not. Okay, or we jump with alternative legs. I'll start the timer. See how far I get without being harassed by the dog. Okay. Off we go. So nice and tall. So none of this. Okay. Don't put any strain on your back. Use those abs. Take that back. Pull the pelvic floor in. Keep that weight backwards. So many things to remember. Keep going. I'm going to change my to steps. <sighs> Ten. Nine. Eight. Five. My counting sucks. Two. Ah. Oh, I'm tired. Normally I practice boot camp before I deliver it. Uh, I've not got the energy, so I'm just going straight for it. I'm discovering it's hard. I'm feeling it hard to do about you guys. Okay. Push-ups and supine toe touches. So take your version of a push-up. If you want to work these muscles across the front of your chest here, Arms out nice and wide. It's a little bit easier that way as well. If you bring your arms in closer and uh, turn your elbows to the back, you're going to work the back of your elbows. Back of your elbows, back of your arms. Do what you can. You can take a full push-up or a half. If you're taking a half push-up, make sure that those hips are in line with the shoulders and knees. So you're not bent here to push up. So you're taking a nice straight line holding that belly nice and solid. Does that make sense? Okay, I'll do full push-ups until I can't, and they probably won't be very deep. Never mind, we do our best, right? Okay, time has started, let's go. Also try not to hang your head down like this, okay? Nice and tall. My face is so red. You can always drop down to your knees, keep going, or stay up. 10, five, three, and one. Okay, last exercise. You're doing really well if you're sticking with it, awesome. Everybody's calm, that's so weird. Kids are in the other room. I might even sneakily hoover the floor while they're not in the room. Woo! Living on the edge. Supine toe touches. I don't know what these are called, that's what I'm going to call them. So coming to sort of your nearly your crab position here, you're going to reach across and touch. We love these in boot camp. I just brought my knees together. So try to keep those knees apart, reach across and touch. Okay? Opposite hand to opposite foot. Off we go. Stay up. Keep that bum up. I noticed, well I'll tell you on a break actually, 20 seconds left. Halfway. Let's see. A little faster. Five, four, these are good for your abs too. Oh, the dog. Shush, you do. Okay, I've got a question for you. You do, shush. I noticed, so um, two weeks ago when Joe Wicks started doing his videos, this Tuesday, uh, the second, the first Tuesday he did it, it's like 900,000 people. Is that right? Yes, I think so. Anyway, so today there was like 300,000 people. That's a big difference. So, is it, Joe, it's too boring and people have lost interest. Is it that people's motivation have gone? So if you're doing Joe Wicks at the beginning, why aren't you doing it now? Is what I want to understand. So, is it just an adherence thing? Are we just bored? 
So we've kept doing it, um, which is great. The kids are actually probably getting a little bit more into it now that they're learning the exercises and stuff like that. Um, and I think they're feeling a little bit stronger as well. As well said, she's noticed a difference. So if you were doing it and you're not doing it now, I want to know why. And how can, what do we need to do to help ourselves commit to, whether it's Joe Wicks' exercises, these exercises, any exercise that you're doing. Writing a diary helps. Even like Joe Wicks' homework was, write down how it makes you feel after your exercise. That's a really good, valuable exercise because it helps us sort of solidify that we do feel good when we exercise. So have a think about it. Maybe you have another idea. I think people may be just lazy. I don't know. Um, or maybe people are on an Easter holiday, so they're deciding that they're not making their kids do it and they'll do it when they get back into it. I don't know. Okay, round two. Let me know if you want round three. Okay, so uh, same thing all over again, I think. Whoa, I might have changed it up on you guys. Okay, we're going to do two exercise, two of each exercise, so then you can't get away with not doing round three. So we're going to do two high knee, and then two burpees, and then two blah blah, right? Does that make sense? A bit more boring, but that means we're working a little bit harder, a little bit quicker. Okay, let's go. We just open this again. So, high knees, off we go. Remember to use those pelvic floor muscles. Now come over a little closer so you can hear me. So, pelvic floor and lift. My knee's a bit funny, so I'll take it nice and gentle. Halfway, nice and fast. Use those abs really clench like you're going to be punched in the stomach. Pause. Same thing again, okay? Now we'll just whack through these, we'll be done. You can go enjoy the sun, eat some food, whatever. No wine this week. Jane, if you're watching, we can do it. Okay, let's go again. High knees. We tie the dog out. Yay! We've also been working on training her, like sort of show tricks, because it makes her really tired using her brain. Let's go, 20 seconds. Hold, one, two, three. One, two, hold, one, two. And rest. On that note, so it makes the dog really tired. We have cut the kids doing activities, even though it's half term, technically. They're still using the brain once or twice a day, only because we need some structure. So they're doing like, a math quiz and a bit of reading uh, and some sort of a practical science like baking or slime making or whatever but I'm trying to keep doing something and I'll tell you the next round okay burpees two rounds of burpees but don't worry I'll switch them up for you so we don't get bored let's start off normal burpees <laughs> Try again, not to tuck that neck under, okay? No, no neck strain, keep nice and strong, keep going. Don't stop when I stop. I have the luxury of having to talk to you, so I get to stop, ha. This time, jump out, legs out, arms out, legs out, this way, up, legs, up, two, one, rest, same again. Now I can't remember what I was talking about, never mind. Hmm. No, brain's bro Oh, I remember, Mr. Rogers. Look it up on YouTube. My battery's gonna run out, fantastic. Hmm. One second, I might have to move the situation around here. Sorry guys, do your burpees. I'm gonna set the timer. You guys do your burpees while I see if I can figure out another place to put you. Off you go. 
Oh, sorry, sticking my face in your face. Burpees, burpees. All the way down to the mat. And nice and high. Hi, Jane McGuire. I'm just moving us around a little bit. You might see my messy kitchen now. Let's go, keep going. I'll tell you when the timer's off. Well done if you kept going, thank you very much. Pardon the glitches. Shows you how much I look at my phone these days. <laughs> Out of boredom. Okay, next up. Oh yeah, Mr. Rogers, look it up, it's good. And it's the stuff I learned as a kid and it's so wholesome and the children love it. It's very old fashioned, but very sweet. Okay, bear crawls, we love these. Off we go. Tough mother ladies, you'll remember these. Backwards, keep that bum down, okay? Tough butter style, you're in one of those teeny tiny tubes. And keep those knees close to the ground, shins parallel. Keep going. Don't let your back come up. Really tighten those abs. You better all be doing these, not watching. Don't sit down. We're all here, you might as well do it. I miss you all very much. And rest. I do miss everyone. I'm happy that, you know, we're all respecting the rules and staying at home, but I can't wait for a big party. Um, when this is all finished, I'm sure everyone will agree to that. Okay, this time we're gonna hold that position. So rather than walking back and forth, we're just gonna lift those knees off and hold. Let's go. Lift. Now here gives you a chance to really find that balance. Really settle in. Pull that pelvic floor in. Shoulders away from ears. Keep those shins parallel to the ground. Pull it in. Stay there. If you need to, lift one leg off. And put the other one down. Up, lift, and down. Hi Jane, how was your bike ride? Up, down, keep walking those feet, arms should be burning. Five, four, three, two. And relax, give those arms a shake out. Oh, squat jump turns. Boo, I'm gonna switch it up. We'll do one round of squat jump turns and then we'll change it. Okay, up we go, let's go. Turns on. So, squat. Turn. I hope you can't see my messy kitchen from there. Squat, turn, squat, turn. <sighs> Keep going. Twist. Jump and twist. Really twist. Take that butt. a little bit easier okay so find that squat sit down let's hold it off we go squat off if you want to make it a little bit harder take those hands place them just inside your thighs and squeeze and resist like the thigh master Suzanne Summers that was her name The spokeswoman for this random product. I don't know, maybe it was only in Canada. 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 Going 10 seconds. Doing this really burns the inside thighs. You can just hold as well if you want to. Three, two. Oh. Why is my phone telling me that? Okay. Plank taps. So this time, we need both the front and the back of the body. So, like last time, you've got the two options of plank, so forearm plank or a full plank, and you're tapping the legs side to side. Okay, so coming to a full plank if you want, tap, tap, really squeeze your bum in so that you're not rocking up and down. Keep going. 
halfway, really pull those abs up. Remember not to hang that head down nice and straight in front. Nice long spine. Five, four, two. I don't know why I'm so incapable of counting evenly. Bizarre. Anyway, never mind. Uh, okay, so we're doing a different type of plank. Uh, tap. Oh, the dog's proper asleep. Get in. She doesn't sleep so much during the day. She's tired having us around all the time. Okay. So there's the plank tap with the arms this time. So here, here. If you can't do it on your wrists, just hold plank for me, okay? But spend the time in that plank, really zipping things up, pulling things together. Let's go. Oh, we're doing plank taps. Here we go, up. Really try not to rock those hips, okay? Rock solid. Keep going, these are a little boring, come on. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I actually counted down on time that time. Guys, we're nearly done. One, two, three, four. Five exercises left, so that's really good. If you're sticking with it, well done. I'm finding this one hard still. Single leg runners, so we'll just do right and left. That's our doubling up anyway, off we go. So again, single leg here. Oh, my knee. I'm not gonna jump at this time. I think my knee's feeling funny. Ever since my big run, my knee's struggled a little bit. But I am gonna concentrate on really pulling in here. Again, like you're gonna be punched in the stomach. You can jump these as well, remember. Whatever you feels right for your body. Seven, six, five. <laughs> I count seconds like twice as slow as they should be. And uh, rest. You got chopping the head off now, sorry. Okay. Well, let's go, other side. Donkey jumps next. Did we like those? I think I got a thumbs up for the donkey jumps. I'm not sure. At the end of this, don't forget to give me a little comment if you don't mind. That would be appreciated. It helps. Going. 10, 9, Now I'm counting too fast. <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, Okay, we'll do donkey kicks one round and then we've got lunge jumps, push ups, and those spine toe touches, supine toe touches rather. And then we're done. Well done. I'm feeling more into it now. Perhaps that first round was hard to warm up on. Okay, donkey kicks up, up. Are they weird? Yes. Gives you a bit of confidence, maybe playing around, don't fall on your face. Getting a little confidence pushing way up. Five. And rest. I'm missing Jody today, I think. Hi Chrissy, you're nearly having a baby soon. Whoop, whoop. Good luck. I hope you're not doing those. Unless you want the baby to come today. Get on it. Um, what are we doing? Oh, lunge shots. Sweet hell, that's awful. Okay, pardon my language, excuse me. Uh, lunge jumps, let's do it. We're gonna do one round of lunge jumps and then we'll do a different one for the second round, okay. 
Again, you can just step it out if you want. So step back. Chrissy, you can do these. Make sure you hold that pelvic floor. Off for the rest of us, let's go. It might be more jiggly on this because I think you're on the wooden floor here. Halfway, weight back, abs up. No collapsing here, come on. 10, nine, eight, oh, I'm all over the place. Three, two, oh, get off. Okay, last one. That's your lunge pulse, 20 seconds each side. There's the doggo. Hello, doggo, okay. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Okay, so taking a static lunge, pulse here. Hello, are you doing exercises too? Are you doing them too? Oh, good dog. That's Lilu, if anybody misses Lilu. There she is. Oh, she's bringing me her toy. Fantastic. Thanks. She wants to play. Hello. We've done so much playing today. So try to keep those back knees even so they're not stepped out, stepping nice and close. So you can come even distant. Hold that chest up. Oh. Keep going. Oh. Right, well done. Those were hard. So, last two exercises. I'm going to get sniffed out of the place. Oh, good dog. She's on the bed. Good dog. Good dog. Okay, push ups. And then something else equally horrible for the round two. Oh, I know what we'll do. Okay, so regular push-ups, nice and wide. Here we go, tummy button in. Nice and straight, don't hang that head. You should be going already, I'm just giving instruction. Off we go. Halfway already, guys. Really zip up those abs, pull the bum together. Zip those thighs together. Oh, don't rip the stuffing out. She's killing her baby. Her stuffy duck duck. Oh no, Lilu. Don't judge my push-ups. Not a strong point. And all the way up and relax. So we'll do just those nice gentle chaturanga push-ups. So nice narrow hands right underneath your chest. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Am I still there? Hopefully, tell me, give me a thumbs up if I'm still there. Okay, maybe I've lost Wi-Fi. Are we there? Yeah, okay, I'll do it anyway. Let's assume we're going, okay. Nice and narrow, all the way down. Chest down, and up. Down. Nearly there, three more, slow. Keep that bum coming up, all right, keep that fast. Chest first. Easier if you've got big bogos. One last one. All right, last exercise, guys. Well done. I'm giving you all a wave. Okay, so those funny supine toe touches. So coming back here and we're lifting across, okay? Last exercise. Off we go. Keep that bum up. There's no way of making these look good. Twist, twist, twist. together. I can feel that in my obliques for sure. And relax. All right, stay with me if you will. We'll just do a quick stretch out. Hi Tracy, hope you're enjoying our workouts. Oh, bring the hands forward. Oh, hi mummy. Reach forward, stretch out the back of the body. 
and then hands, palms towards your face and reach up. And to the side. Come here, Lulu. Come on. Come on. She says, I'm in the bed with my stuffy. I don't care. And the other side. Feels quite nice. And from any position that's comfortable, take a nice twist. And instead of twisting here, really open up that chest and twist your chest. Look over your uh, right shoulder if you're twisting that way. Look over your back shoulder and twist. Legs out front, last one. Do your own stretches for your legs, whatever part of you is feeling worked out. So sitting nice and tall, pull those bones, pull those abs in and sit straight. So it should, instead of here, okay, we're pulling up tall, really tall and pull those toes back towards your face. Legs nice and straight and lust slightly off lock, sit tall. Also, what did you think of the Queen's speech last night? The Queen's royal address or whatever we're calling it. Um, we made the kids watch it, they were bored, but we thought they should be part of history. Hello, here's a doggo. That makes us all feel better having a doggo, doesn't it? It's a very good doggo. <laughs> and she really loves having this park scratch. Anyway, you're all probably bored now because you're just watching me pet my dog. Thanks for coming, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want for the rest of the week. Um, more cardio, more intense, less intense weights. Yoga, don't take the easy route all the time. You know, we're here to work hard and have fun as well. Bye bye, say bye bye, do do. Say bye bye, bye bye, bye. Bye, bye, mommy. See you later. Bye, guys.